everybody, welcome to another episode of Travel Without a Cause. This is Matt, and uh, we're in Baton Rouge, Louisiana today at the old Sweet Olive Cemetery. This is the oldest African American only cemetery in the Baton Rouge area, Baton Rouge, Paris, and all the surrounding area. Uh, it dates back to, well, arguably the, the 1890s, uh, specifically 1898. But there's some speculation and argument that it actually dates back to the 1850s. And so uh, it's been very poorly taken care of over the past few years, as you can kind of see behind me. And uh, I basically wanted to show it to you guys and, you know, just kind of talk about it a little bit. Um, pretty straightforward history. There's not a whole lot of complex history, really. It's gone through different caretakers and quote unquote ownership over the years and uh, over the decades and all that but uh basically just wanted to show it to you guys and thought it'd be something very unique it's kind of like i said it's very overgrown right now and and kind of sullen looking but it's um thought it'd be something you guys would be interested in seeing so let's go take a look now here's the front of the cemetery you can see the sign here it says nationally recognized african-american burial site since 1850 so it, it says 1850 here so i guess maybe over recent years, they've uh, agreed that it dates back to that time frame. But um, I'm not going to bore you guys with all the details of the ownership over the years and stuff like that. I just don't think that people would really care to know about all those details. But um, it's a very interesting looking place. My buddy Sean, shout out to Sean, who suggested this place to me. And uh, if you guys ever suggest anything or want me to vlog anything, I'll give you credit for it uh, if you would like that. Uh, but let's go take a look in here and see what we can find. I'm sure most of these graves date back to a long time ago. Looks like there's some recent ones there, 1992. For respect, out of, you know, out of respect for the families, I'm not going to get too detailed on names and all that stuff. I just don't feel like that's really a, a necessary thing. But I just want to kind of show you guys around and, uh, and take a look at a cemetery that's very old and not superbly taken care of see here there's one born in 1903 and died in 92 when I do vlogs like this at cemeteries the last thing I want to ever do is be disrespectful I don't want to ever do these things as a uh, gimmicky you know uh, even though it's Halloween and I like to do kind of like a cemetery vlog here and there I don't ever want to do them out of disrespect, you know? So, to all those out there who might have relatives or friends in any of these, I want you to know that uh, it's all out of appreciation for the age of them and, and all that. It's so overgrown back here. There's actually graves back there. It's very overgrown. Look at that. Nineteen oh five. Some of these are very hard to read. Born October eighteen ninety one, died nineteen forty six. Wow. That's the year I was born. Well, some of these aren't that old in comparison to the age of the cemetery. Look at that. Look at those back there. They're just so overgrown back there. You can just kind of see them poking out from under the, behind the grass back there, huh? Kind of makes me kind of sad to think that there's people's relatives back here that are that have tombs behind all that grass and brush and overgrowth. I would hope that 
if it was my relatives or great aunts and uncles or great grandparents or something that I would want to come and make sure it's all well groomed and all that you know thirties this is crazy it makes you think like what's further back there in that brush I say it goes back another hundred yards to that tree line back there easily to 1972 1945 so relatively not that long ago like I said uh, relatively speaking there's some in here that are look at that I mean that's my foot right there and these graves are ba I mean barely sticking out of the ground it makes you think how old that might be There's one right there that's kind of wrapped in a, like a tarp material. Have any of you guys ever seen a cemetery overgrown like this before? Or maybe have been to this one when it was maybe better kept? make our way around the other side here looks like that's a, a lift right there to roll them out to the oh what you call those things a hoist or something Eight, 1983 to 84 oh the baby Some of these tombstones, or headstones, I'm sorry. Yeah, tombstones. Are kind of hand carved, it looks like. In all respect to the Miss Sander, who is here. Rest in peace. But, I mean, look at that. That's like hand carved into that. Yeah, um, just a second ago, a local who passed by um, stopped to talk to us and just say hi. And um, he said that it's been like this for years. My estimation was that, I mean, looking at this overgrowth, I'd say at least two to, two to four years, especially back there. I mean, there's got to be tombs in all that thick brush back there. That's just crazy to think about. But he was stressing, the guy who stopped by just now, he was stressing his concern. He said, it's such a shame. And you know, from the research that I've done on this place, it's gone through multiple organizations and and you know who have claimed that they would you know are responsible for it or whatever. And this is dating back to the 1920s. I think every like it seemed like every 20, 25 years, according to the research I did, that it was new, like, not ownership, but you know, gone through different caretaking organizations who said we're you know we're in charge of it and all that. But I mean, look at this. I'm only about maybe 20 feet from the fence, from the road. And there's tombs back there. But he was saying, he's just a, he's a local resident. And he said he, he, he tries to get back here and do some weed eating when he can. You know? Like such a shame. And he was, uh, he was very actually appreciative of what I'm doing here today. You know, it's that maybe more attention can be brought to these 
or this place specifically, but places like these that are just not taken care of and the history here. I mean, I read you off some of the dates, you know, uh, but he said, you know, it's hard to get the community involved in places like this. People just don't seem to care a lot anymore or enough. Look at this pretty one. 1870 to 1931. Man, that's five years after the Civil War ended. Wow. I said, we're right here. The road's right here. You'd think enough attention would be brought to it being seen every day. path this is laid down by like shingles and stuff very makeshift you can actually see this is a much clearer section you can actually walk deeper into it and see some of these nice cypress tree I mean, even the tree is almost like growing into the tombs here. It's shifted. It's shifted the block all the way. A good six inches right there. And that one looks like, are those stacked on top of each other maybe? That's probably custom for maybe families or something. But yeah, look at this. You can barely read some of these. Died maybe in the fifties, maybe. It's almost impossible to read. seen that before you guys ever seen a blue tomb before this is looking out across well the entryway a little bit cleaner towards the back huh this one it's like just broken through right there See if you can read that one. Born 1846, died 1930. Wow. Wow. Another cypress tree right there. I love cypress trees, they're so pretty. Always so cautious about where I step in cemeteries, even modern ones. I just never, I never know where to step. Look at that! Some back there in the brush. There's a tombstone broken and on the ground. It's so sad to see it in disrepair like this, you know? Not to say disrepair, because it could definitely be repaired. But such a state of disrepair, I guess, currently. You know, these very old tombs and places of rest for so many people. Look at this, another one that looks like it's hand, hand carved, basically. 
born 1910 maybe died 1959 and it's just sitting here in the middle of the ground just randomly you guys can kind of get a grasp a grasp on how it's oriented here it's in between graves I'm trying to be so careful where I step you never know like this could be one right here but there's shingles on the ground everywhere which appears to be where you you know the walkways of it here's another one it's a piece of a headstone Jeanette maybe a Jeanette and like I said a, a couple times already like some of these people died as recent as the 70s or 90s you know um these very old ones so it's not like it's been neglect you know uh, just untouched and, and unused for a hundred years or something I mean some of these are only 30 years ago it seems like this back portion here are uh, much older ones Look at that wall of just overgrowth. I really hope that there aren't many. Look at this one, 1884 to 1944. Wow, 60 years old. That's pretty old in those days, absolutely. I think the life expectancy was back then was probably around that age, maybe less. A lot of these say, uh, resting or sleeping you don't see that too much on the modern one the more modern ones look at this you can see some back there there's one right there I don't know if you can see it too well it's like it's just the top of it's just busted through completely makes you wonder like what's in there if they've salvaged, I don't know how you, if you guys can even see that. Can I make it out back there? But look at that, you can see some of them. Overgrown right there, you can kind of see the, the tombs in that grass. And I see some, even like 10, 15 feet deep back there. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but there are graves in that. And look at that. Just basically toppled over right here. I mean, I'm six feet tall. That's nine. Some of those are, you know, it's 10 feet of growth right there. And like I keep saying, there are tombs. I can see tombs in there, in that growth. Somebody's got to come back here and clean up a little bit like that guy that passed by earlier said you know get people in the community just to weed eat a little bit at a time yeah. see that look at that that is so thick back there 1914 yeah like these say at at rest like I was saying a while ago or some of them say sleeping just sleeping like I said, it's so hard to tell I'm so cautious to where I'm stepping you just never know this is so old and all these removed headstones and toppled headstones you never know if you're walking on top of someone's grave which I hate the thought of but when it's so disorganized and in the state of the state that it's in Another one covered in a tarp right here. A little section back here. You can see those back there. They're in that growth, a row of them, and it keeps going back there. Wow. Another cypress tree. 
know you guys are laughing at me about the cypress trees, but uh, I think they're pretty cool. I'm so glad that uh, my buddy Sean recommended this place to me because what a story. I mean, just neglected out here. Complete neglect. I feel terrible for the family members who have deceased family in here. I mean, there's got to be a collection or a certain percentage of people and residents that have family in here, friends that want to come and visit. Like, you can't... There's tombs back there. You can't go visit anymore back there. Not even a carved out, like, weed eat it or, you know, put some Roundup back there and kill some of those weeds or something so they can get... I mean, there's so many of these that are just inaccessible, complete, completely inaccessible. Well, guys, uh, I guess that's it for today. I, I'm lost for words for the most part with this place. It's, uh, it's very sad to see it in the state that it's in. And I'm sure most of you guys would agree. Um, you know, it's just such history to it. I mean, people are there's people in here that've been buried here for over a hundred years, 150 years, and uh, it's just crazy to see it like this. You know, I've never seen anything like it. Um, anyway, on a lighter note, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you're enjoying the material for the most part. And, uh, uh, as usual, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell for me. Uh, I think whenever I hit, my plan is just a little insider. Uh, when I hit about a hundred subscribers, I'm about right at 60 right now, I think. Uh, so you're watching and seeing the, the channel grow, which I love. And I'm glad that you guys are a part of it for those of you who could keep up with it all. I think when I hit about 100 subscribers, I'm going to um, start uh, my Patreon in which I will start, uh, you, know, have, you know, giving away things and, you know, to my Patreons and stuff like that and, and from, from each site. Um, not too sure, like, not too sure yet. Yeah, probably be different things, like different incentives and all that stuff for people who, who want to, who choose to keep up with it and all that. And so um, that'll be coming soon, you know, so probably when I hit 100 and I'll keep you guys posted. But uh yeah, I hope you're enjoying it all. I'm enjoying doing this. Uh, I think this is my 15th vlog already. I've been doing it about a month now, part-time, and it's uh, <laughs> it's growing. Uh, I think I'm getting a little bit better with the, the editing and the filming and all that stuff, and I really am enjoying it. And I'm, I'm really enjoying uh, when I hear people say that they, they like to watch the videos and, and they like the material that I'm putting out and all that. So uh, I'm trying to improve every day. I hope you guys are digging it. And uh, with that, I won't keep you too much longer. Um, Signing off from here in Baton Rouge, Louisiana at the Sweet Olive Cemetery. I encourage you guys, I mean, if whoever's out there who could do any kind of uh, community outreach or anything like that, this place needs some attention uh, for sure. Maybe this video will help with that. I don't know. But um, yeah, so in the meantime, I'll see you on the next one. You guys have a great week, a great Sunday night, and uh, cheers to you all. See you later. Bye-bye.